All right, let's talk April 2023 housing market trends, just to give a little bit of insight of what's been going on in the market year to date. So according to Realtor.com's April housing data, the housing market continues to face challenges as affordability headwinds persist. So affordability is all about the interest rate and the average listing price of a home increasing. So with higher rates and higher sales prices, it's hurting the affordability of people being able to purchase. The inventory of homes for sale, which is higher than this time last year, it's still well below pre-pandemic levels because fewer sellers are opting to list their home than in previous years. And honestly, that's largely due to the fact that they feel like uh, as a seller, they're already locked into a really good interest rate on their current mortgage. And so if they sell their home and buy a new home, they're going to actually need um, to have greater affordability uh, because the interest rates are higher and the sales prices are higher. So uh, we are seeing that homes for sale are spending more time on the market. Uh, listing price growth has decelerated a little bit. But again, this is national data. So here in San Diego and in California, our markets are still seeing multiple offers and our list prices are still increasing month over month. For buyers, um, hopefully if we start to see some deceleration in the price of homes, uh, that will give some buyers some uh, reprieve because right now they're just getting slammed with interest rates. Um, so higher interest rates changes the affordability. And if you have any questions about what the market's going to do, um, it, it's so up and down, right? I wish I could give you a great answer, but I always tell people, you know, if you're in a situation where you need to buy, um, you're downsizing, you're upsizing, your family's growing, or you are paying a lot of money in rent in San Diego, especially rent prices are going up and they're increasing and they're really high. Let's compare that to you owning a home. Uh, I, you could actually even maybe look to take from your 401k if that's been declining due to the stock market um, and possibly take a percentage of that and invest it into purchasing a home for yourself. So there's still a lot of opportunity out there. If you're thinking about purchasing a home or you want some more information on the market, specifically in San Diego or in California or any other state that I might be licensed in, feel free to reach out and I'll get that info over to you. Talk to you soon.